Welcome back to the Good Green Home Show with Rich and Shauna. We are going to talk about ornamental, creative, fun container gardens today. I happen to be fascinated with and love kale that is mm. the dinosaur kale. I know. You're obsessed with that. I'm obsessed kale. with it because it looks so creative and different. It's this blue arching, magnificent thing that grows now. And if you have it in a smaller container, it will stay small and contained. If you have it in a bigger location, it'll stay big. Mm. But imagine if you add something like that, that's it truly looks like a dinosaur situation mixed with celosia, which is a fluffy you know, bold colored Let's get plant. some serious texturing going on there. Exactly. Do you have a favorite texture combination you like to make up at the I at the like shop? foliage, and I like the Rex begonias for foliage. Mm. They ha actually have some really cool, colorful, and actually this uh, 2015, there's this new, it's actually, and it's funny you mentioned the dinosaur kale. There's actually a, a series of Rex begonia that came out. It's called the Jurassic Park series. And there's all these different Ooh. colors. It's almost like a um, a coleus, yeah. but it's a begonia, and it's a f colorful foliage begonia. It has a swirl in the leaf, doesn't it? Very uh, like a swirly color. A lot color. of the different patterns have swirls to them, and different layers of colors throughout them. So they they do put off a little bit of a flower. It's not like mm -hmm. your typical begonia that you would typically think of. Right. It's, so it's a tiny flower, but it's a tiny flower. big impact with the leaf itself. Big impact with the leaf. Mm -hmm. It's the Jurassic Park series of begonia, of Rex begonia. Okay. And it goes great with Rex, dinosaur Jurassic kale. Dinosaur. It's a total yeah. theme happening here. Uh, one of the, the vegetables that I love to use are blood beets. Blood beets. Here's why. Um, the leaf gets about the in any situation gets about this high so it's a little over 12 inches in my experience but uh it is so flavorful to eat so it doesn't taste like blood it doesn't ew no it tastes delicious like beet greens it's like a uh, it's almost like a lettuce i mean it, it's you pick them and eat them also for the greens not just for that root but grow it all season long, mm -hmm. and at the end of the season, you can pop it out, and you have the, the root at the bottom, too, the beet itself. And I chop those up and cook them with garlic and butter, by the way. Totally good. Oh, uh, it's nice. But the blood beet is a deep burgundy, and when you cut it, it will bleed all over your hands. So I use gloves... Uh -huh. Because it is a deep red burgundy that gets so it all over. Stains everything. your hands. It does, but when you're talking about a container you use that's that creative, to like paint your face for Halloween. <laughs> Run around like a wild hooligan. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I like is Swiss chard. We have a couple different varieties that I'm really fond of. I bright, like bright lights. lights. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. You can't go wrong with it. And Bright Lights has, I don't know, is it four different color colors? It's like pink and. It's like a like a rainbow in your plant. It is. There's yellow and orange and green and mm -hmm. pink and red and hot pink and all these colors. So that's an unexpected for a container, a planter, mm -hmm. a pot. When you're making a combination planter, you can use that as a center plant, a thriller plant, your tall height tall. plant. But mm -hmm. you can also eat it. You can. And the, the Swiss chard, people ask me all the time, what do I do with Swiss chard? You chop it up and use it in a salad. The, the leaf is not bitter. It's very delicate and light, and it's always mm. full, filled with color. So it's a greenish burgundy, the leaf typically. They have a new peppermint stick Swiss chard that's out that's like little red and white stripes. Just heard about that. Mm -hmm. They're, it's really neat. I guess it's not new, uh, but it's become very popular recently. Mm. Uh, they also have just a plain white Swiss chard, which the leaves are not white, but the stem is. And you can grow those from seed. We are at the end of our segment. Create some very creative ideas there that you might be able to choose an interesting, different plant for your ornamental edible containers. The Good Green Home Show will be right back after a message from these sponsors. LSIP Home and Nursery's trained staff of certified horticulturists and organic gardening gurus are the local experts for promoting sustainable, healthy living throughout the community. Our green team can turn even the most inexperienced gardeners thumb green. LSIP Home and Nursery features Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana's largest selection of plants and organic gardening supplies. Look no further than LSIP Home and Nursery's green team. Is your lawn being ruined by moles and voles? 
Bonite has the solution. Bonite Mole Max is an effective repellent to use against moles, voles, rabbits, gophers, groundhogs, squirrels, skunks, and other burrowing animals. The environmentally friendly Mole Max formulation makes it a great product to apply in areas where children and pets play. Just apply three or four times per year to send nuisance animal pests away. If your lawn needs some repair from mole damage, use Mole Max RX with Lawn Revitalizer. This will help repair your lawn while repelling the moles and voles. Bonite's Mole Max and Mole Max RX RX are available in a granule and easy spreader application or in a convenient five pound shaker applicator for flower or vegetable gardens. Bonite products are family made in America. Bonite Mole Max Mole and Vol Repellent is available at your local hardware store, garden center, or farm feed store, or go to bonite.com for a retailer near you. This product is not for sale in Indiana.